Hello my awesome crafty fans! For today's video, I am going to be showing you how I update this skirt set into a stylish, cute outfit. As you can see, this top is really outdated. It has this weird color and it also has shoulder pads. And I'm also going to be taking in the skirt on the side because it is way too big on me, as you can see right here. So the first thing I will do is shorten the skirt. This is a maxi skirt, so I'm going to shorten it a bit. So I'm just going to measure it how long I want it and I'm going to trim off the excess fabric. And then I tried on the skirt and then I mark where I need to take it in. So I'm just going to match the pins and then I'm just going to sew it from here all the way down to the hemline. Right after I sewn the new side seam, I am going to cut off the excess fabric. Decided to add the fabric that I trimmed off earlier. I'm going to be adding it as a ruffle since ruffle is all the rage at the moment. And then I'm just going to base stitch it so I can gather the ruffle. I'll attach it on the hemline of the skirt. Remember that the right sides of the fabric should be facing each other. So I'm just going to pin it all the way around and then I'm going to sew it all the way around as well. Just make sure when you're sewing the gather that you're holding it really well so the gathers will not move. Now it's time to work on the top. First, I'm going to be removing the shoulder pads. Using a top as my pattern, I'm just going to place it on the fabric. I am going to pin it so it doesn't move as I'm cutting. Be sure to add one half inch allowances on all sides. This is for the back bodice. You should have something like this. This fabric that I'm using is actually a crinkly material so it has a little bit of a stretch. Now it's time to cut the front pieces for the front bodice. I just basically fold the, the back bodice in half and place it on the fabric just like this and use it as my template. Now you should have something like this. Now I'm just going to use this front bodice as my template for the other one. So I'm just basically match the button so I can reuse it later on. Now I'm just going to button the front bodices so I will have a one piece of fabric to work on. Now it's time to sew the front and back bodices together. I'm going to sew it on the shoulder seams and side seams.
Now I have a sleeveless top. If you want to, you can just finish the raw edges and you are pretty much done. But I want to reuse all the pieces that I got from the top. So I'm going to keep on going. First, I'm going to cut open the sleeve. I'm going to cut it on the underarm seam right here. I already have a tutorial on how to make a sleeve pattern. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, I'm going to put the link up on the card up here. I am just adding about one half inch seam allowance right here as well. I'm going to use the first sleeve as a template to cut out the other sleeve. By the way, I am going to take advantage of the finish hem so I don't have to do it later on. And then I will sew the underarm seams right here. Now it's time to sew it on the blouse. First, I'm going to put it in the armhole and then I will match the underarm seams and pin it all the way around. And then I'm going to sew it all the way around. If you notice, I am not stretching my fabric because it has a little bit of stretch since this fabric is a crinkly material. So just be aware when you're sewing because it will be really wavy if you stretch it. And it should look something like this. I will be using this piece that I got off from the skirt earlier as a necktie. I'm just going to cut it into strips. It's about um, 3 inches wide. And then I'm going to sew it together so I will have a long strip of fabric. So I marked the center back of the blouse and I also did the same thing to the long strip of fabric. I marked the center of the strip. I am going to match the two together. Right sides are facing and I'm going to pin it. I will not pin the long strip of fabric all the way to the end of the neckline right here. I'm going to sew it from here to the other end and it should look something like this. Now I am going to grab the top here and I'm going to fold the raw edges and then match it right here and then pin it to secure to hide the raw edges of the neckline. If this is all too confusing to you, crafty fans, I have a tutorial where I showed you how to make a bow necktie. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, I will have the card up here. After I pin it, I am going to sew it all the way from this end to the other end. I am also going to sew the opening closed and it should look like this. So I tried on the blouse and it was still a little long on me so I decided to shorten it. And after that I'm going to hem it, I'm going to fold it twice to hide the raw edges and sew it all the way around and the top is done. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you could share this video, that will help me tremendously. See you in my next video. Bye!